All right, here's how you can play any NES, SNES, Game Boy game on your PC. First step here is you're going to open your browser, and we will search up Mezzin. I have the link in the description for this vid, for this tutorial, as well as a computer mouse. As if you don't have one, I'm concerned for you. Please just get one. It will make your life so much easier. So here you can see Mezzin. Multi-system emulator for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Now I run Linux, so we're obviously going to be getting Linux version. So we'll click that, and here it will is it will download, open file, and just like here's here's Mezzin. You'll extract, we'll extract a desktop, extract, and now we'll show the files. Wow, it's right there. Pretty cool. So here you can see Mezzin. We will left click this twice to open it. You, you should know how to do this. Here will show your you your input methods. I recommend keeping your own arrow keys if you do enjoy that. WASD also works, but I say you keep on arrow keys and you need to select your type of controller. You have PlayStation, Xbox. You keep it on Xbox if you have other types of controllers, say some random generic controller which I also have the link in the description for if you do so desire and you confirm and just like this you open Mezzin so what we're going to do is we're going to click file we can click game but you hit file control O and here we open desktop wow that's Super Mario Bros 3 select and just like that it's open now there is no sound which is actually in the base game so don't don't be worried about that. This was not the world's best example, but it is a solid one. You can also play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and other games of that sort. So what you're gonna do here? If you do so desire, you can use your arrow keys to control. But I recommend you enter settings. Input. Okay, this is where all your controls are. So we'll click NES because this is what Mario Bros. 3 was entered for. And we'll set up. And here you can see this is all of your controls. So this pad one to start. So we'll click enter here. And for select, I recommend having it like L. For B, I always set it to X. And A, I put it to Z. For pad pad one, A. And for pad A, S. This is just because it's really convenient on your on a QWERTY keyboard. And for this, we'll just click up arrow, right arrow, left arrow, down arrow. Very simple. Click OK. Click OK again. You're good. Enter. Enter. And just like that, we're into the game. Now, you don't have to worry about performance. If you're worried about performance... It should open right up here. You can run, you can do this, really easy. And you can change your button layout to be whatever suits you best. So this is my button layout, but yours could be different. But yeah, so this was brief. Uh, however, it is very nice to be able to have. Remember kids, don't pirate your games, and I will see you all later.